Hi everybody, uh, week eight. We are well and truly moving along. This week we'll mostly be taken up with the midterm. If this were a uh, brick and mortar class, the first meeting of the week would cover um, a little bit about PDFs because I want to talk about those before we get started. And uh, a review of the midterm, or next meeting, would be the midterm. For the review, I'd recommend uh, looking over the tasks from the quiz, as well as uh, the summaries from the previous week, the written documents. I think that'll help out a lot. Um, so, questions. Uh, this week there was uh, not really a question so much as it was brought to my attention that once a homework or quiz is started, the timer keeps running. So what this means is if you start a normal assignment at 1 p.m., the timer will stop at 2.30 p.m., even if you leave the page. Uh, previously, CI Learn allowed tests to be stopped and started at will, uh, but that's no longer the case. I'm, essentially, I'm just gonna I'm gonna leave it this way for various reasons. Uh, the main reason is by leaving it this way, you can't start the test, pause it, and then wait for the due date to be over, and then start it again. And then if you if that were possible, you'd be able to see all the answers. Anyway, uh, that's actually a nice segue into academic honesty. Um, I'd like to take a little bit of a moment to talk about a the academic honesty policy again. Uh, CSUCI takes academic honesty really seriously, uh, and so do I. I may take it a little bit more serious than Channel Islands does. The gist of it is, uh, any work that you submit should be your own. Um, you can work with other people, but let me know. Don't, don't try and pass off knowledge that isn't yours as your own. Channel Islands actually outlines that a uh, professor is not only allowed but encouraged to f fail the assignment or even kick the student out of their class. Uh, this is important to note because I, I think academic honesty is very important. Um, the point of this is that you know getting a college education is voluntary. Nobody's forcing it. Um, and so it's really important that we keep the value up by representing what we learn as what we have learned, not, not what someone else has learned. So since there's a midterm coming up, just remember, your work should be your work. If you work with somebody else, uh, let me know, and, you know, and everything will be all right. So I'd like to talk really briefly about PDFs. So uh, you've all seen PDF files, you all know PDF files. It stands for Portable Document Format. Uh, the idea came about in the early 90s as a way to share documents across platforms without losing any formatting or styling. Basically, at the time, and even still today, if you create a file on one platform, be that Windows, Linux, or Mac, and then transfer it to one of the others, the formatting doesn't necessarily stay the same. This is especially true if, say, you formatted something really nicely on your machine and you send it off to a commercial print shop to have that printed, if you don't do it in a, a reliable way or the same format that they have, there's no guarantee that when they print it out, it'll look the way you expect it to look. So to that end, most print places require you to send things in PDF because a PDF is not quite a picture, but it's all that's that's a good way to think about it. That it's not so much a document as it's a, a screenshot of what a document would look like. Basically, uh, that's that's PDF in an extremely small nutshell. There's a lot more to it, and we could go on and on. Um, but for now, I think that's okay. So the midterm, the overall idea for this midterm is to demonstrate practical knowledge. It's essentially the same as the quiz, but you're completely in the driver's seat now. I, I want you to create documents and format them and put content in them and send me those documents. Basically, uh, whereas with the quiz, I gave you a spreadsheet and a document and these had instructions in them. For the midterm, I want you to create three documents. I want you to create a document a spreadsheet and a presentation and I want all of these files to have a particular attributes that I go over in the summary and that I will have in the instructions for the quiz. When those tasks are complete I then want you to submit those three documents through CI Learn. You can share them with me through Google Docs if you'd like just to for an added layer of security but for grading purposes I'd prefer that you send them through CI Learn. Um, to kind of give a brief summary, and this may change, I, I'm still kind of looking at it, 
But for the most part, what I'm going to want you to do is create a spreadsheet, and in that spreadsheet, use each of the following functions. Use a sum, average, if, if error, and round. And for the sum, I want you to sum at least 12 values. And for the average, I want you to average at least four values. The document should have at least four different paragraph styles. Uh, it should use a bulleted list and a numbered list. It should use a table with at least five rows and four columns. Uh, it should include a chart, drawing, or image. And it should also have a table of contents with at least four items and page numbers. For presentation, create a presentation file with five slides. Uh, a picture or a graph on one of those slides, a bulleted or numbered list, and a table. Uh, and in addition to that, there's also a quiz on CI Learn that's worth 45 points. And just like the last quiz, it's one try, you have an hour. Uh, so, uh, reading. I posted in uh, the Wikipedia article on PDFs. It's worth looking at if you're interested. Um, next week, we're going to cover some of the basics of computer security. That's secure passwords, phishing, and encryption. Uh, I also want to talk a little bit about staying safe online, and I'll probably talk a little bit more about PDFs. Right, I think that should do it. Good luck.